Welcome back and welcome into Friday Night Fever, an abbreviated version because of the blizzard conditions outside, of course, but there's still plenty for us to talk about here on the eve of the NFL playoffs. I'm Kevin McNulty, joined alongside by Keegan Cooper. Keegan, thank gosh, Ishpeming at Nagani Boys and Girls Hoops went on as planned tonight. Those were two terrific games. You're not kidding. A 17-point comeback in the boys' game, and then the girls' game came right down to the final seconds, Kevin. Gosh, was it unbelievable. Let's start right there. Undefeated Ishpeming visiting undefeated Nagani. The Hematites, ranked number one in Division Four among UP teams. The Miners, number one in Divisions One through Three. Ishpeming wins the tip and quickly goes to work. Jenna Mackey finds Maya Hemmer and the Hematites are on the board. They'd get out to a 10-0 lead, but Aubrey Johnson gets the steal here and finds Ella Mason running the floor, basket, and the foul. It's 10-3, Ishpeming, nice finish. Miners making a push here. Inside defense, strong all night for Ishpeming. Aubrey Johnson shot blocked by Addison Morton. Mason recovers the loose ball, finds Callie Rahala. And it's 23-18, Ishpeming still leads. Late in the third quarter, Jenna Mackey again. Drives, spins, shoots, and it falls, plus the foul. It's a seven-point game, but the Miners answer. Johnson lets it fly. It's, again, a seven-point game. Ishpeming on top, 50-43. Hematite's by four now, and Ella Mason wants three. It's off the mark, but a big-time rebound and putback. The freshman, Kira Waterman. Miners within two in the final minutes. Nagani at the free throw line. That one's off, and the referee says Ishpeming basketball. You can hear the crowd roar. That play seals the deal right here. Maya Hemmer with the finish. She had 22 points tonight. Ishpeming gets the big-time win. 57-53 on the road. Woo, Hematite's looking good. Also, senior night at Nagani, and five minor seniors were honored between the games tonight. But on to the boys' game now. Miners win the tip here. Gavin Saunders directing the offense. He drives, kicks to Jordan Gennetti, sinks the triple. Nagani on the board. Now, Ishman can shoot as well. Hunter Smith to Parker Gothier for three on the wing. Hematite's have the 5-3 advantage. Now, Miners rolling early. Gennetti returns the favor here. Check out this pass to Saunders underneath for two. It's 13-5, Miners on top. Now, the Miners led by as many as 14 through the night, but here comes Ishpeming, Parker Gothier with the steal. He lays it in, that lead down to two. And coming in bunches, the Hematites did. Caden Luma on the break, it misses. Gothier with the steal, back to Luma for the bucket and the foul. Ishpeming now on top, 43 42 and from there the hematites didn't look back parther gothier to hunter smith for three hematites now lead by six and caden luma led the hematites with 26 big points tonight he dribbled it out ishpeming downs nagani 53 42 your final what a comeback win for the hematites how about that a hematite a sweep and a good recovery for the boys after their loss on wednesday to marquette just one more boys basketball game in action tonight. It was Houghton facing Dollar Bay on the road. Gremlins win that one. 68-40, your final score. Let's go to hockey. Houghton hosting Brother Rice from a downstate. After Houghton scored in the early minutes, Callan Mitchell snags the puck off the boards and sends it in with 13 minutes left in the first period. We are tied at one. Didn't take long for the Gremlins to strike back. Connor Arco back to Jace DeForge who launches it straight home. Gremlins take back the lead halfway through the first. It was a stalemate from that point well into the second period. Here's Turner Angle with the glove save and we'd head to the second with Houghton ahead by a goal. Two minutes left in the second period now. DeForge swoops in out of nowhere and he splits the pipes. That gives the Gremlins a 3-1 to one advantage, and they go on to win this one 4-3. to three. Ooh, Close one for the Gremlins, but they get it done. Also in hockey tonight, North-South Hockey Showcase. Escanaba Eskimos taking on the sixth-ranked Bay City Wolves. Wolves strike first, but it's Owen Labonte who gets the puck in his own zone, skates, shoots, and scores. Puts it past goaltender Nash Leonard. It's 1-0 Escanaba. Just 25 seconds after Labonte's goal, there's a battle along the boards, and Bay City's Tyler LePac wins it. Takes the puck and lifts this one short side over Hayes for the unassisted goal. We're tied at one. Second period, Nolan Bink gets the puck along the boards. Back to Graham Johnson, sends it to Labonte. And his second goal of the game, Eski, two to one. Now the Eskimos and the Wolves in the zone again. Nolan Bink cross ice to Ben Sands, who sends it 
back door to Brett Lobb, and the captain roofs it. Eski has a 3-1 lead. Two big saves in the third by Hayes, and Bink gets the puck along the boards. He carry this one up the ice and gets the empty net goal. Escanaba wins 5-3 over sixth-ranked Bay City. Eskimos will face ninth-ranked Plymouth tomorrow afternoon at 4-30. Great win for the Eskimos. These games also going on downstate at the Traverse City Showcase. Kelly Met falls to Detroit. U of D Dejuit 5-4. And Kingsford gets a win over Lake Orion 7-2. And one more hockey score. Marquette keeps it rolling. I believe that's their 10th in a row. 4-2. They win it over Traverse City, St. Francis. Let's go to college hockey. Northern Michigan taking on Lake Superior State for game three of the Capo Cup. First period, Mikey Colella swipes the puck, goes stick side shorthanded for his fifth of the season. NMU on the board in this one, one to nothing. Now it's the Lakers' turn. Carter Batchelor finishes off the break here for Lake Superior State. His sticks of the year and ties the game at one apiece here early on in the second period. Now the Lakers playing together tonight. Brandon Picu capitalizes with the go-ahead goal here. For LSSU, they lead 2-1. to one. And the Lakers, well, firing on all cylinders. Jared Westcott's, or Westies, nabs his 13th goal of the season, 25th point of the season, excuse me, 13th goal, 25th point. Lakers roll to a 5-1 win and now have a one-goal advantage, 12-11 in the Capo Cup. Game four tomorrow, 6.07 p.m. Puck drop for that game. Should be a good one, Kevin.